Welcome to Let's Talk Fitness, a community conversation on fitness. My name is Renee Reed. I am an Edmonds resident, a baby boomer, and owner of the Six uh, Movements Fitness Studio. We want to have a conversation about indoor rowing, uh, indoor rowing for fitness and for fun. And we've got with us Heather Alshuler, who is a master rowing instructor. Um, she is an indoor rowing uh, instructor as well as on water rower. And Heather, you've been rowing for a long time. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got in, in introduced to rowing and some of your high points and bring us up to date with what you're doing here. Thank you for having me, Renee. Um, mm -hmm. I was born and raised um, Canadian girl, Kelowna, British Columbia, and was had my sights set on coming to the U.S. to play basketball in college. Um, I was an okay basketball player, nothing, you know, great. Um, looking at sort of Division Two, hoping to make it, but um, an indoor rower came to my PE class, and all of a sudden those goals changed and I got hooked to a brand new sport and was offered a full ride scholarship to the University of Michigan to row. And so I went, um, that was that was my entry to the sport of rowing and um, All-American Big Ten Athlete of the Year um, career at the University of Michigan and went on to compete uh, for Team Canada um, through the 2008 Olympic Games where my team and I placed fourth in the women's eight. Um, after that, I shifted my focus back to indoor rowing and moved back to the West Coast coming here, um, moved to Seattle and uh, introduced a new uh, curriculum into the Seattle public schools that surround indoor rowing um, called Erg Ed and we introduced all K through eight schools um, and middle schools to the sport of indoor rowing. Um, so all the students in Seattle had access to indoor rowers and then moved up here to Edmonds and got hooked up with Renee at Six Movements and now get to teach a class at your facility um, as well as also working um, around the country to train other fitness professionals to become certified rowing instructors through an organization called You Can Row Too, um, which is affiliated with Concept2 Rowing Machines, which is one of the main rowing machine makers in the country. Well, we're really glad that you moved to Edmonds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. I love it here. It's like this hidden little gem just north of the big city, right? <laughs> and I actually met Heather through the You Can, to, you Can Row Too organization. Um, where I became certified as a rowing instructor. Today we want to talk about indoor rowing uh, as it's used for fitness and also uh, the fun that's part of it as well. And so if you're not a super elite athlete or a high schooler or yeah. college kid, um, you know, can you give our audience some of the reasons that indoor rowing might be something they'd like that, that, that they yeah. may be interested in pursuing. Absolutely. Well, the indoor rowing machine is a really incredible, accessible fitness tool for every single person. I have not met a single person I cannot get on the rower. Mm -hmm. um, and it is one of those things, no matter how fit or unfit you might be, however young or old you are, it it is something that you regulate yourself. So the effort you put into it is the effort it comes back at you. So if you want a gentle, easy workout, it, you can have that. If you want something a little bit more intense, um, the the indoor rower is perfect. Um, okay. And it really is for every single person. So it is, would, would you say that, um, for example, people who have a lot of weight to lose or um, those of us who have uh, artificial limb, you know, potentially artificial knees. Mm -hmm. We some of us have hip replacements. Um, I know I have some arthritis in my hands. Um, I I have learned that rowing is helpful for me. I think a lot of people uh, are asking themselves, should I? Can I do that? You know, yeah, should it, I do it, that? It is. It's great. It's low impact. Um, you know, it's not like a treadmill where you're setting the pace and you have to keep up with it. Okay. You set your own pace every single rowing stroke. Um, and it is something that an elite level athlete can be rowing right beside someone who is 95 years old and the first time on a rowing machine. And they can both, 
you know, participate together and do the same sort of type of workout um, at their own intensity level and have incredibly successful results both at their own pace and at their own level. Um, and one of the amazing things is, is it does use 90% of your muscles in your body. Oh. So it is an extremely effective workout. Um, it is it is just great. It is a feel good, really amazing, can be challenging if that's what you're looking for, or can just be a gentle introduction into fitness maybe for the first time in your life or maybe after 50, 60 years. So. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that it, that we can control mm -hmm. the intensity. I, I know there's a few times when I've, I've suggested to new clients that they try the, the rowing uh, for fitness class and they've been a little hesitant and worried about the level of intensity. And when, when you say control your own intensity, without getting into a lot of detail, how, how might a person be able to do that? Well, so the rowing machine is designed that um, it's created, the resistance is created through wind resistance. So okay. the harder you're pulling, the more resistance it creates. So if you're not pulling as hard as someone that might be stronger or more fit beside you, it's going to create less resistance okay. for you. So it is completely self-governed and it's every single stroke helps create that. So, you know, you might you might not be able to last as long. Mm -hmm. um, your endurance might not be there compared to someone else and that's okay. Um, you can simply just be moving your body mm -hmm. um, or else you can be getting more resistance and having to, you know, exert more effort into, into the rowing stroke. But it is completely self-governed and um, produced on the rowing machine. So. So it sounds like I can get stronger from Absolutely. Rowing, and I can get a cardio workout. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm moving everything. Mm -hmm. So it, it it would help just move fluids and help me more mobile. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, it and it is. It's it's something that you don't have to be young to do or even to start. So I coached an incredibly inspiring group of women. Um, we call them master women. So in rowing, when you're a little bit older, um, you are considered a master. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I had one incredible lady. She was 80 years old uh -huh. and started rowing for the first time ever. Awesome. Um, and this was an on the water group, but mm -hmm. it, it transfers over to indoor rowing as well. And you know, she was introduced to the movement first time ever. And you know, she's so inspiring and doing incredibly well with the sport that she started at 80 which is amazing that's really great mm -hmm. well thank you is there anything else that you would like people to know yeah um, well I think you know just thinking about lots of people think about rowing and think on the water especially mm -hmm. around the yeah. Seattle area yeah. there is a lot of on the water rowing here in Seattle but indoor rowing is sort of the next fitness craze kind of taking over and there's a lot of indoor rowing facilities popping up especially on the east coast and it's starting to become a little bit more popular here it's sort of the hidden gem in the gym um, often the rowing machines are those dusty things tucked yeah. under the stairs or in the corner um, but just try it you know I really encourage people just to give it a try don't be scared that it's this new new thing that you've never done before or maybe you've seen some people you know grunting and groaning making all these scary noises and big <laughs> movements on it um, the, those that do occasionally use it but it can really be an incredibly effective tool to add into your your fitness journey or maybe it's the start of your fitness journey so well, that's um, what we wanted to talk yeah. about today is if you haven't started or even if you're, 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 you're already active but you just want to try something different, um, indoor rowing is, is something that's fairly easy to learn. Uh, and if you, if you live anywhere near Edmonds, uh, you're welcome to come. And um, we have a clinic January 21st. Uh, we're going to have links, uh, you know, on the end of this that'll show you how to register for that clinic. Heather gives a two-hour clinic. You don't row for two whole hours. <laughs> you get breaks. Um, and also, she teaches a class on Monday evenings at Six, Six Movements, my fitness studio. We have a fleet of uh, indoor rowers, and we build rowing into a lot of our classes. Um, we, we love to row, and we'd love to help you learn how to row. So thank you again for joining us. This is Let's Talk Fitness. Until next time.